careless second with a match, and America the beautiful becomes America the ugly. Please, help prevent forest fires. Happy birthday, America. Here's a kiss and a squeeze. Thank you a lot for your beautiful tree. You grew them real tall and put them in forest to help out the carpenters and the squirrels and the floor. Yes, thank you, America, for the trees in your hair and for keeping them safe with Smokey Bear. A public service on behalf of the Forest Service and your state foresters. Eppley Shannon. And Charlene Wong. And Sloan Wren. <laughs> What a lovely day for a picnic. How about that spot over there? Perfect. I'll go get some firewood. Don't get lost. We're going to eat some. Aren't these hot dogs done yet? I'm Just hungry. about ready, dear. Come along now, Junior. It's time to cook. Papa, what about the fire? Oh, forget it. It'll go out by itself. You wouldn't want bears to be careless with fire in your home. So don't be careless in theirs. Since 1947, forest fires have been cut in half because people have been careful. From Smokey the Bear and all of us who use the forest, thank you and God bless you, America. I like the way the forest sounds, the way the leaves rustle in the wind and fall to the ground and crunch under your feet. The way the birds sing and the chipmunks chatter, the way a squirrel scrambles up a tree. That's why I'm asking you to please be careful with fire. Because when we lose a forest, we lose a lot more than meets the eye. I ought to know. I'm Ray Charles. Hello, I'm Smokey Bear. This is my friend, Thumper. He lives here in this forest. Bambi's family lives here, too. It's their home. But sometimes people come here, and they get careless. Please don't be careless. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Only you. Over two million years ago, prehistoric man discovered fire. He learned how to cook with it, stay warm with it, even light up the darkest night with it. But he never learned how to be careful with fire in the forest. After two million years, isn't it time we acted our age? The deadliest animal in the forest isn't the biggest, or even the strongest. The deadliest animal rarely travels alone. It fears the darkness, but it's cunning. It strikes without a moment's notice. Each year, nine out of every ten forest fires are started by these animals. The deadly ones. The ones with the brains. In the time it takes to grow a tree, you can grow a country. Four score and seven years ago, our fathers brought forth the fathers. The Yanks are coming! The Yanks are coming! To fear is... Fear itself. Here goes Bob, the all-American boy. Wave the 
then he was born ignorant, and he's been losing ground ever since. The Japanese have attacked Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, by air. For... You. Ask what you can do for your country. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition. It only takes a minute to wipe out a century. A flash and nothing. And even the birds won't come anymore. My daddy told me when I grow up, I can be a fisherman, just like he is. My daddy told me when I grow up to be careful with campfires, just like he is, and never walk away from one before it's completely out. My daddy told me when I grow up to be careful with matches in the forest, just like he is. Daddy, when are you going to grow up? A fish died because it couldn't breathe, because its gills got clogged with silt, because mud ran into the river, because there was nothing to trap the rain, because all the trees were gone, because someone got careless with fire. So please, be careful with fire, because... Little monster in every one of us that can destroy a forest as long as we treat fire like a toy. Please. By the time the second hand reaches 12, forest fires will have burned down another 100 trees, unless you help. Remember, when you're in the forest, you're among friends. comes to life in the forest, a lot of things can die. So please, please don't be careless with fire. Bridge, Pumpkin, there were trees everywhere. But people got careless. And every year they started forest fires. And all the trees burned down. Then the birds died. Because without trees, there's no air. So everything dies. Grandpa, I wish I could bring back the trees for you. In the city, maybe you've never seen a forest fire or thought much about how it affects you, but maybe you should. Because last year alone, this country spent a quarter of a billion dollars to fight these fires and restore the land. A quarter of a billion dollars. Now, guess who paid for all that? That's right, you. Remember, only you can prevent forest fires. Birthday, dear Smokey. Only you can make Smokey's wish come true. Happy birthday to you. A place that's peaceful and quiet. A place where animals play. It's called the forest. But every year we start forest fires. A careless match, a cigarette, and poof, fire. So the next time you're in the forest, be extra careful, okay? <laughs> if you knew it was me, would you have listened? <laughs>